Germany's government has been thrown into turmoil. That's after the Social Democrats, the junior partner in Angela Merkel's coalition, elected new leadership that's voiced opposition to that ruling alliance. Joining us now from Berlin is Birgit Yen and Bloomberg's German government reporter. Birgit, good morning to you then. What do these new leaders stand for? Well, they have been campaigning on that this government hasn't done any good for the social democrats. And while they haven't been clearly saying that they want to go out, but they have made very clear that they really want a change of policy. And um, it's interesting, and I think it's crucial for the next weeks, that really even we hear that this party leadership isn't uh, united. It's divided over whether to stay or whether to leave. While Walter Borjans from North Rhine-Westphalia um, is actually a pragmatist, he would like to stay and thinks that it wouldn't be good now to enter into new elections. His running mate, um, Esken, is a lawmaker, and she's really an ideologue, and she thinks really it's better to leave now. So what they have come up is with um, a strict criteria, it's really high demands, which are really difficult for the CDU, Merkel CDU, to meet. Okay, so does that, where does that leave the uh, where does that leave the relationship between the CDU um, and these coalition partners? What are the possible future scenarios? Because you, the picture you paint there is one of some confusion within the SPD, perhaps, but then difficulty for the CDU to comply with uh, with with the criteria being set out. Well, in the short run, we probably see that the convention will pass motions where they say, look. You sit down, negotiate with uh, Merkel's CDU, whether you get a better deal. And if the deal is bad, we will leave. And then um, we will have a different scenario. Either the, the party will say, this is enough. We are saying we will finish the term. The other scenario is that the government will enter into a minority government, which means that the ministers will leave the government and uh, the lawmakers will stay in parliament and in occasional really will vote alongside with the CDU just to keep this, this uh, uh, government going and just to avoid new elections. And, and then the other scenario is obviously new elections maybe already next year. And where does, this, uh, where does this take us in the short term then, Birgit? We've got uh, next week a party convention taking place, well, the end of this week, in fact. Where does that leave the SPD? Well, the, the party will meet, and I think the party convention is probably not going to be as contentious anymore as, for example, if Scholz would have been elected, because Scholz is unpopular, and he was, is from the conservative wing, so there was always the risk that the party will somewhat rebel, and this rebellion would um, result in a sudden departure from the Grand Coalition. I think this risk has been diminished. The uh, party will not decide uh, straight away to leave, but they will attach very strict conditions. And the SPD leadership has, for example, now called into question the balanced budget. And we do know that for Merkel CDU, giving up the balanced budget in the current economic situation where they say we are not in a recession and there is no crisis near is just a red line.